Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Manu, and today I'm going to talk about the Grasshopper. Grasshopper, baby, cause I don't break the voice. I might be a little bit different, but I'm moving on. Grasshopper, baby, cause I don't break the voice. I might be a little bit different, but I'm moving on. Grasshopper, baby, cause I don't break the voice. I might be a little bit different, but I'm moving on. Grasshopper, baby, cause I don't break the voice. Itong simpleng look na na-generate ko or na-invento ko dito sa aming maliit na bahay, no? Um, nandito lang ako sa dining area namin. So before we start, I would like to tell you the cameras that I'm using for your reference. Um, some of you are asking what camera I'm using and also we will discuss the settings as we go. I'm not gonna talk into detail about the camera and also I'm not gonna talk about the detail the specs of the uh, microphone that I'm using but babanggitin ko lamang sila dito and papakita ko sa video na to para magkaroon kayo ng idea alright so the body yung body ng camera na ginagamit ko guys is the Sony A7 III so I got this camera back 2019 and then unless naman ang gamit ko guys ay Sony uh, 24mm 1.4 GM and then I have the Kambi right there um, meron akong uh, recent na na purchase and acquire na camera which is the A7C meron tayong uh, 50mm 1.8 na lens na nakakabit siya alright so most of my videos I am using the Sony G Master 16-35 I'm Kosa yeah. So if you're a Sony user, I know the word it na word it siya. So, okay, so hindi ko ginamit yung lens din yun kasi kailangan ko mag ng tight, na uh, tight na looking na lens. Ang aking audio na ginagamit naman guys ay Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and then meron akong DSLR 5 dito na uh, pang monitor sa aking A7 III na body and then meron tayong FX Lion Nano 1 for powering up everything, no? So, siya yung nagbibigay ng power sa ating camera and dito sa aking uh, desk view. So, long-lasting power life siya. Uh, so, yun yung cameras na gamit ko and I will be using them for a long time. So, maaaring madagdagan pa yung camera in the future because I'm uh, looking forward to making a lot of films as I go. So, I fell in love with making videos on YouTube and, you know, turning this passion into a job. So, trying my best na. So, next na pag-usapan natin guys is yung camera settings. So, ang camera settings na gamit ko is uh, S-Log 2 Picture Profile, no? So, I will make a separate video about my camera settings but basically, it's from the other YouTubers that I look up to. So, i re reveal ko na lang yung camera settings in the future. Kung hindi ka pa na-subscribe, please subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification icon para pag nilabas ko yung camera settings ko, eh, mananotify ka. Also, there will be a two-part of this video. Part 1 is showing you the camera and the gears that I'm using and then uh, how I achieve this look. Part 2 will be the post-processing, no? yung pagkukulay and uh, pagpapakita sa inyo sa computer kung paano ko na-achieve yung look na to. Going back to settings, I'm uh, shooting at 4K, 1 over 50 yung shutter speed niya and then 2.8 yung aking aperture sa so ngayon dahil madilim kailangan ko ng mga plus, plus 3 or plus 1.3 sa exposure kaya around 2000 ng ISO ko ngayon and I'm using the natural light and also guys um, yung white balance ko is around 56 Kelvin pareho sila ng camera settings dito sa camera B so I hope uh, maging okay yung <laughs> settings so hello there camera B Okay, in terms of lighting, uh, I decided to utilize our kitchen because yung pagsasetup ng ilaw ay masyadong tiring for me and uh, wala akong permanent space dito. So kung makikita nyo nyo sa aking YouTube videos, ang look, look number one ko yun nandun sa mesa. So I tried to uh, optimize my room para mabilis yung aking production whenever I want to film uh, tutorials about guitars, mixing, uh, drum mixing, etc. No? Medyo nas nagsawa ako sa look na yun kaya nag-decide ako na maghanap na ibang uh, places dito sa loob ng bahay. No? And so Pwede naman ako na merong mga ganitong uh, furniture yung aking parents and merong kakaibang uh, vibe yung video na to compared to sa mga uh, videos ko. Na. So, I'm trying to utilize uh, the parts of the house as uh, a content to my channel kasi sayang, no? <laughs> Minitor na rin sa bahay namin. For now, hindi ako gumagamit ng any kind of softbox. I am just using the natural light that's coming out from the window on my right. Mm, minamaster ko pa yung white balance. But for now, yan, yung gamit ko, 56K. Okay? Alright, so I'm not going to talk about pala sa pagkukulay. So, if you can see, if you like the, the color of this video, we will tackle it on the next video. Kaya, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Just in case, magwa ko yung part 2 video nito in the future. And manonotify ka. Another thing that you have to consider, guys, is the settings. No? 
yung setting mismo ng inyong composition. So, para sa akin, yung setting or yung kung paano nyo yung i-frame or ilalagay yung subject ninyo sa isang camera is napaka-essential. So, sa case ko, yung nag, nung nagtitest ako, ito yung best setting na gumana rito sa, anim, sa aming dining table. So, ito yung best spot na nakita ko. No? So, if you're going to notice, uh, nasa gitna ako ng camera. So, I'm using the rule of thirds and then also, um, if you will notice, ginagamit ko yung leading lines. No? So, um, meron akong line dito. So, yung, yung horizontal line, yan, yung nakikita nyo na yan. Okay? So, ginagamit ko sila as part of the composition. And also, yung placement ko sa sarili ko uh, dito sa video na to. No? Nasa gitna ako ng frame. Nasa gitna ako na itong dalawang to. Not in a perfect position, but nasa gitna ako as much as possible. No? So, nasa gitna ako nito. And then, uh, yung mga base na to, yan, uh, nag-add sila ng extra, extra uh, texture, no? Extra texture sa aking video. And also, itong mga gamot-gamot <laughs> dyan. Uh, and then, yung cabinet is so nice na uh, maging background din. So, ayan, ito yung setting na sa tingin ko na dapat kayo maging cautious when you're making a video like this. So, dito naman, uh, planis ko lang around 30 degrees. Meron akong kambi, no? So, napapag-trip ako ngayon gumawa ng kambi. So, gumamit ng kambi. So, nagpa-practice ako gumamit ng multi-camera. So, malaking difference talaga, guys, ang SLR. Uh, malaking factor yung camera na ginagamit nyo. And, so, sobrang laking factor pa rin kung marunong kayong gumamit. Uh, nasa skill pa rin yan. No? Indian pa rin yan. Nasa Indian pa rin yan, wala pa rin yan sa gears. No? I think, yun lang. Hindi ko napapahabayan itong video na to. Subscribe for part 2 of this video, which is post-processing. Papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko na-achieve yung gantong kulay, yung gantong look. And also, um, share ko sa inyo yung paano ko kinulayan itong video na to. No? So, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And also, click that bell notification icon para ma-notify ka. Pinaka-importante is please share and help me out reach 2,000 subscribers. I am uh, asking you guys to subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please tulungan nyo ako makaabot ng 2,000 subscribers this year or maybe 5K. So, ang goal ko lang is 2,000. And I am going to give you a lot of free video, free tutorial if you help me out, guys. So, sana nagugustuhan nyo yung ginagawa ko. Uh, comment down below if you like it or if may question ka. So, lang guys, no? Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell notification icon para ma-notify ka sa bawat upload ko. And then, tambay ka na rin sa ibang videos. Check out all my videos. So, may may kita ditong drums, guitars, filmmaking. So, yun lang guys. Maraming salamat sa pagtambay. And see you on the next video. And I'm out.